Hi, welcome to the short movie where we're going to take a look at the uniform animal record. So first of all, where do we find it? Okay, cow's head, daily tasks, number two, animal record. Now this is one that you're going to use a lot, so it's a good one to create as a favorite. Right click, then left click, and there it is, add to toolbar. So let's go into the cow records. Now what we can do is we can type the number of the cow straight in. So for example, I can type in 1742, that will take me straight to the cow record. You'll see there's a separate box here, that's the previous number. And that would be, for example, if it was a, a heifer, um, and you, you know it as 4004 because of the ear tag, you then freeze brand it to 1742. So this will be the current number, and then you'll still have a record of the previous number sitting here. You can type the number straight in, as I said, but also we have the magnifying glass. And here we can search for animals. And this is really good because we can search not just on number, as I'm doing here, but also on name, on an ear tag, and on previous number. Also transponder number, just left click in the field that you want, and you'll see then you can search by transponder number. But for the moment, we're gonna search based on cow number. One tip is, we never lose the data. When we sell a cow, the cow goes into the historic file. So if you want to access a cow that's left the herd, or a calf that's left the herd, you just put a tick in here, include historic, and then you can search for it either via number or via ear tag. Okay, the cow we're gonna have a look at today is 1319. So I type it in, that takes me straight to the cow record. And then what we've got here is we have different tabs, and these are essentially pages of information for the cow. So the first thing that I can see is that she's pregnant because we have the green box, so that, that tells me it's good. I can see a cow grade. This is the potential for the animal to remain within the herd, and that's that's pretty good. So that's that's looking that's looking good. Here I can see her calving date, days in milk, lactation number, latest milk recording, so that's the official yield with the fat and the protein, and then the latest milk meter yield. And on some of the processes, we also capture the milking speed and the milking duration. Here you'll see the mating recommendations. So these are the bulls, my first, second, and third choice that I'm planning to use on this cow. Cow sorting, that's available, we'll be able to see that. And then here we can see expected drying off dates, so 3rd of December, and the expected calving date along with the calving interval. And we also record body weights and condition scores. A lot of information on the cow. And what you have then, uh, these different tabs, and each tab is a, is a relevant page of information for the cow. So if I go across to general, you'll see here I have the date of birth, her age, the transponder fields, because obviously we could have more than one link. We could be linked to a, a milking parlor, but also to, for example, to an activity system. Feed and feed intake. We don't actually have out of parlor feeds on this, this farm, so I'm not going uh, not going to show you that. But we do have some sensor information on this database. And so you'll find this in the calendar tab. And what we're able to do is I selected here the, the milk meter yields, but also, as you can see, conductivity. If I had activity, I would tick on that box and that would then present visually that information for the cow. So let's go across now and have a look at lactations. So we have two fields here. We have the official field because this person is actually milk recording. And then we have the milk meter yields. So we can see that the projected yield for this cow, the 305 projected yield, is only 101 days in milk at the moment, is 14,317. And we also then have the lifetime yield for that cow, along with fats and protein. We now go across, and we go across to the milk recordings. And you'll see here that we're looking at the, the calving date, the latest calving date, and those are the individual recordings for this cow. So we have the fats, protein, somatic cell counts. But if you want to have a look at the, the, the entire history for this cow, not just the current lactation, then simply click here and select all lactations. And then we've got everything. And here we can see uh, with our use of colors again, that there's a new infection here, 334, that's why it's red. We cured it, back again, we cured it, it's back. And then unfortunately it went chronic and we then cured it. So we can be very specific. We can just look at the last lactation or we can look at everything. And so far, so good for this lactation. 
Now the same logic applies um, if we're looking, for example, at milk meter yields. So we just select it here. Then if I go across, this gives me the daily production. You'll then see the individual milkings. And just one thing that I'd say on this, if you have milk meters, it's probably quite likely that the, the report that you want to look at is the milk meter yield. So you don't want to keep going and changing it from, from the official milk recording to the milk meter. So we want that to happen automatically. How do we do that? Let's go to properties. Now in the properties here, you'll see that there's a setting. Now the first one is when you go to the cow record, which is the screen that you want to see first? And I would say nearly all, all the time, it's the actual one because that's showing us everything. So that was the first screen I showed you. So I'm happy the setting is left by that. But you'll also see a tab here, other. And here we can pick up the defaults. So I'm gonna say, I want to see the milk meter yield coming up automatically. So that's just one to remember. And also with the print bit here, you can also select which items you want to print off of that cow record, and then obviously save that as either a PDF or whatever. So my default is now set that when I go to the cow record and I select milk recordings, it gives me the option milk meter. If you want to change it back, you know how to do it now because it's just in properties. So across to reproduction, again, we're looking at what's happening in the current lactation, but I want to get a, a lifetime picture for this cow. So select all lactations. And there we have it, everything that's happened to that cow per lactation to do with fertility. Health and treatments. So as the name suggests, what we're recording here are all the individual health events that have occurred, and then the treatments and the medicines that we've used for this cow. This farm, isn't actually recording things like uh, body weight, or well, it's doing a little bit of condition score, mobility scoring, but again, this is something that if we enter it into the program, we can then report on it. Movements, this will show when the animal was purchased. It can also show um, group changes. And then finally, we come across to pedigree. Now on the pedigree for 1319, I can see the sire, I can see the dam, see the dam sire, but also the progeny. So how many of them are actually on the farm? They all have the calves and unfortunately, um, the last one, unfortunately we lost. And then right at the bottom here, you have the family tree. So that's, a, that's an overview really then of the, of the cow records. The last thing I wanted to show you was, I've shown you how you can access the information, but what happens when we need to change something? What do we do when something's wrong? So if we have a reproduction event, for example, that we need to change, just go into it. And let's say that the bull here, we've got the wrong bull. We've entered the wrong bull, it could be the wrong date, whatever. Select the item of information that you want to change, and then bottom left, edit. And then you have two choices. You could delete it, and then using new, you can recreate it. Or if you're just amending something, then just select a different bull, say okay, and as you can see, it's as easy as that to change the data. So I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, please give the help desk a call, and that's a quick movie on the Uniform Animal Record. Thank you for your time.